Oh god, it's so dark here. Where... Where's all this fuck coming from? What's that? What's that noise? Is that light coming from behind that tree? Oh god. Rusty gothic gates? A gargoyle statue? What is this place? It's so creepy. just keeps getting worse. Am I... Am I gonna be sacrificed? Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. Today we're looking at Akka's Dungeons and Graveyard Structures. It's a really cool mod on the Steam Workshop that adds some extra decoration to Ark, as you just saw. So if you have a roleplay server or a Halloween event going on, or just fancy building a spooky graveyard and pretending to be a vastly powerful undead. No, no, not that guy. Get him off my screen. On this channel, we stand for Cetra. And if you made it this far, subscribe to the channel for more art mod news, nightly live streams, bizarre shorts, and general tomfoolery. One of the really cool things about this mod is that most items come with variants that you can play around with, so you can get the look you want, like uh, this Crypt Wall, for example. You can switch between two different styles. You've got this one and then that one up there. You've got gravestones, you can change the style of the gravestones. Structure variants, see there's loads of different, loads of different options. And stuff like, can we do this? Yep, burn effigy B. Nice, that's nice and chaos, I love it. Yeah, these tombstones have variants. Cool. And these ones as well. The sarcophaguses and the sarcophaguses and the coffins also work as beds, which is really quite cool. And uh, most of these lights have different variants as well. As does this cage, which is really funky. Uh, broken. Let's make it broken. Something broke out of there. All of this is crafted in a crafting table, which unlocks at level one and costs 50 charcoal, 30 keratin, and 50 stone and then to craft things in here takes various different resources so bones take a bit of keratin picture frames fiber metal wood tomb statues cementing paste metal none of it is like terribly expensive and most of the lights that you saw they use this wax as a resource which you get at a rate of like uh, 10 to 1 so you get 10, 10 wax for one oil which is really nice and cheap and then there's loads of lighting and stuff and various different things you can put around. Uh, this tree is actually part of the mod and has some different variants as well. There's <laughs> loads of different variants. So, cool. So pretty much you can do what you want with it. It gives you a lot of options to customize the look that you're going for. There is one slight critique I have which you know, I, it's more a thing I would like to see more of because these walls are extra thick to accommodate for the model on the inside. They don't quite line up with the vanilla pieces here, the vanilla building pieces. So like, so some additional doorways and ceiling pieces with potential variants would be very, very nice. But obviously I understand that that is a huge amount of work and modeling takes a lot of time. I love these candles, by the way, they are so cool. Um, and these books, you can switch variants between them as well, which is very nice, very nice indeed. So yeah, this mod I think is awesome. In future, I'll probably be adding it to our Restoring Ragnarok live streams to give us some more options with the ruins. And um, also I would like to give a big shout out to Randy's Halloween mod. I was playing around with console commands for ages trying to get this fog and I couldn't actually get the fog to uh, to work. I don't think there is a console command for it on Ragnarok, but uh, fortunately you've got these little fog races, fog razor boxes here, which you can put around and create like this really creepy ground fog. So that was the video. Thank you very much for watching. I really do recommend this mod and wherever you are in the world, have an absolutely great day.